His videos feature saws, glue, complicated woodcuts. This all started as social media exposure to help sell some furniture, but it has now become Dusty Mitchell's full-time job. Take a look. This is so up my alley. That video, by the way, you're looking at, posted three days ago, now has one and a half million views. Oh, and that's not just a one-off. Dusty's vi videos regularly get seen by millions of people around the world. With more on how he went from woodworking to social media star, Dusty Mitchell is joining us in studio. Good morning to you. Great to have you. Yeah, great to be here. Thanks for so having me. I'm guessing you didn't plan on becoming a content creator. Right? No. That wasn't the like initial goal. No, yeah, completely unintentional. It was using social media as a better form of a trade show to reach people to try and sell furniture. So when did you first notice that your videos were gaining such traction? Um, oh, geez, probably about three, three and a half years ago, something like that. People started paying more attention to how I was making stuff and commenting on that than, than like inquiring about the product itself. So. So walk me through that process in your brain, saying, okay, well, people are thinking about this and asking me more questions about this. How can I use that to go forward? Well, well, um, there's, there was always this idea that there were people making money off of social media. Mm -hmm. I just never thought, I didn't know anybody that was doing it, and I didn't know anybody that was monetized, and so it just seemed like a goal that was unattainable. But um, there are points at which you can apply for monetization, and I, and I did that, and there was a point at which the money that I was making off the videos was as much as the, as the money I was making off of the furniture. Wow. So at that point, I was like, wow, maybe this is a viable thing. Maybe I can do that. And so at that point, I started focusing a lot more on the algorithm, how it worked, um, you know, anything that I could do to make to have more fun. Essentially, yeah. the more fun you have doing something that you love, yeah. the, the, the higher the probability that the video will do well. Isn't that wild? I mean, I'll ask you about the analytics in a second because I know that's a huge part of your process. But I want to talk numbers, OK? You have more than, what, 8 million followers across all of your platforms. Yeah. I should also mention, by the way, Dusty, you're from McGrath, Alberta. Population, yeah. what, 2,500? About 2,500, yeah. Yeah. So what is it like knowing that millions of people are watching your stuff? Oh, it's humbling. I mean, it's uh, surprising. It's humbling to think that, like, I, I reach... Like last year, I had like four, four billion or four and a half billion views or something Sorry, like that. Did you say Bill? Yeah. What? Yeah. So like, can you wrap your head around that? I know it's crazy to me. Like on, <laughs> on when I look at the analytics every day, there's days where I reach ten or thirty or forty million people. So to think that that my videos would reach as many people as the entire population of Canada every 24 hours, it blows my mind. Like it's yeah. You, you have four kids. What do your yeah. kids think about all this? They think it's pretty cool. I like bet. The older ones a little bit more than the younger ones. The younger yeah. ones don't really know. They're just I'm just their dad. But yeah. the older ones kind of think it's. Indeed. And you have to post a lot, right? Which you say is part of the secret to your success. Yeah. Um, do you ever run out of ideas? Like, how do you come up with your ideas to do stuff? So luckily with woodwork, you don't. Mm -hmm. um, I think that a lot of creators, I work with um, some of the development team now on in Facebook and YouTube, and they talk about that as being a big problem for a lot of creators, is this idea of like, how do I come up with regular content? Mm -hmm. Which dance should I do? Which song should I sing? Or something like that. With woodwork, there's so many things to build, and, and over and over and over again. So I, my problem is never, uh, coming up with content. It's just making it. It's just making it. So you do about a video a day? I try to do a video try a day. Try to do yep. a video a day. So somebody watching right now and they're thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, I'd love to do this. I'd love to be able to work my passion and make it, you know, monetize for myself. How are you using the analytics that you have access to with social media that people, everybody has access to this kind of stuff? How are you using that to direct the content that you post? Um, so it's a it's a game of averages. Mm -hmm. um, you try to find out what averages are for your niche. So anybody with a phone and with an internet connection um, and from any place in the world can start making content in something that they really enjoy. And and there's going to be different um, size audiences for different types of things, right? Like obviously woodwork is a, is a large audience, but not as, as large as like automotive or something like that. Mm. So you have to kind of get an idea of... Um, what how many, how many people yeah. are in that? And then you sort of get an idea of averages. Like, like I used to chart the top woodworkers that I saw, and I tried to get an idea of relative versus absolute performance, and I tried to at least match that so that you're performing. The, the algorithm is math, and the yeah. algorithm does nothing more than chart human behavior. So it's human behavior, and it's a mathematical proposition. And those things, if you can, if you can use time and data to understand, yeah. then there are ways to figure out how to do a really good job at Which I should also mention is your background, right? You studied economics? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's certainly helping. Hey, congratulations, Dusty. This thank is pretty you. amazing, and you have amazing work, and I love that you were able to join us in studio. I, I was glad to be here. Yeah, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.